Okay, I just wanted to do a little gear video and show you all what I had. Sorry, this is my little tiny closet that I'm in, so you can kind of see all the rest of my junk in here too. But um, I'm going to start out with the big three. I have my Osprey Atmos 65 here, and I haven't gotten to use it yet. Um, this is the first year that I've had it. I got it for Christmas from my husband, and... I love it so far. It holds all my stuff in there really well. Um, this here is a Eureka Midori 2, and there's my um, tent stakes and poles. And here is my part of my sleep system here, and that is my sleeping bag. And it is just a no name bag, it's an Alps. Um, 35 degree bag. Um, it's worked really well for me. It's an oversized bag because I'm kind of a big girl so I need room to move. Um, it it actually compresses down pretty small but um, and takes up not very much room in my bag. Um, and then I have over here I have the Thermal Rest Neo Air and I love 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 this thing. Um, it has literally saved my booty. Um, just sleeping on this thing has been like sleeping on a cloud. Um, I've had the other thermal rests, and those things are huge and bulky, and they're just tough to maneuver around with your backpack, and I hate them. So get one of these if you can afford it. I found mine on Craigslist for like... I think it was like 40 bucks or something. It was like a huge steal. It was awesome. Um, so let's see what else do I have here. I have um, my brand spanking new pot. Um, and that is the GSI Minimalist. And inside here, if I can open it up with one hand, is um, the MSR Micro Rocket. It's also new to me and which came with um, a little electronic ignition um, PZO igniter you can see it lighting up there and it's got this neat little grabber that you can grab the pot with and of course it it has the um, canister inside there that a fuel that you can use too it didn't come with that but you can put it in there and then it has um, this neoprene sleeve, which is really cool. I'll put that all back together. Okay. This is just my bear bag. Um, has all the normal bear bag stuff in there. Um, poop scooper. Everybody has to have one of those. Um, this is um, the Sawyer Mini Squeeze. I um, haven't gotten to use it yet. It's also new to me. I've uh, read and seen a lot of reviews on it, and it looks really good, so I think I'll try it out, and um, I'll let you know what I think of it. Um, this, I saw a really great review on it. It's, it's a dry bag. Um, I'm using it for my food, and um, I got it because not only does it have the typical um, handle up here at the top, but it has one down here at the bottom. And I like that because when you hang it, um, if you hang it this way, I always thought, well, maybe it could leak, even if it's a dry bag. Um, it m could possibly leak, um, and I just didn't want that, so I wanted it to hang this way. So. It wouldn't leak down inside the bag. Um, this just has my toiletries in there, deodorant and that kind of thing. This is my clothing bag slash pillow. Um, it is a Thermarest um, ditty bag that when you open it up has um, fleece on the inside so you can 
turn it the wrong way around and stuff your clothes inside at night and use it as a nice warm soft pillow, which I absolutely love. So inside here I have uh, a couple pairs of socks and maybe a ch change of underwear. Um, and then I have a um, fleece hat, which keeps my head warm. Um, this is just a super cheap pair of rain pants. Um, it's frog togs. Um, I haven't been out in the pouring down rain yet to use them. Just in the average piddly rain that haven't really needed pants yet. Um, this is my base layer pants. It's a Paradox uh, Merino wool blend. Um, I really love these pants. They keep me nice and warm. And um, they're nice for sleeping in, so that's nice. Um, this is just a cheap Walmart um, tarp that I'm going to use for underneath my tent. Um, I haven't used um, a tarp underneath my tent. I just used um, some plastic underneath there. And the plastic was nice, but um, it took up quite a bit of room in my backpack. And I didn't like that so much, so... I think I'm going to try this little cheap tarp and it was only 10 bucks. So if it didn't, doesn't work out, then no oh well, just 10 bucks. And this may seem like a lot for some people. And I know it's nice and pink, so maybe not quite for everybody. But anyway, it is my first aid kit. And inside here I have a lot of different things. Um, but I am super freaking clumsy. So I think I need a lot of stuff in my first aid kit. So this will probably do me good. Um, and then I have my my walking sticks, my trekking poles. Um, these were super cheap too. I got these, I think, at Walmart like 20 years ago. Um, they're they're Lucky Panorama um, poles. Let's see if I can get it. In the... Yeah, there we go. Lucky and then Panorama. Uh, but they've held up all these years, and I'm now looking for some new poles, which would be really super nice, because these aren't the most comfortable things in the world. But, um, you know, hey, whatever. They've done their job, and I think they were like less than 20 bucks, so it works. So, anyway, that's my gear. Oh, and these nifty little straps I use to lash things on the outside of my pack. These are from Sea to Summit. And, uh, my pack cover. It's also from Sea to Summit. Um, anyway, that's what I got. Um, if you have any questions about anything or have any comments, um, this is my very first video I have ever, ever done. So I was a little bit nervous and may have a little bit of a shaky voice. And I apologize for that. But anyway, thanks a lot. Bye.